little Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree, how lovely are thy branches. Wanna know how to make that? Keep watching this video. Hey y'all and welcome to Our Gray House. My name is Lisa and I'm doing a little bit different video setup. I thought I would start filming like this way instead of just the overhead shots. I don't know if you like it, let me know. Um, I don't know if I like it because I haven't seen it when I play it back. And when I probably watch this part of it back, I'll be like, Lisa, you're so awkward. Anyway, so in today's video, I'm gonna be taking two of these um, triangles. They're called triangles because on the back it just says decor. It doesn't say like what it is. I found these at the Dollar Tree and um, I'm not sure if they still have them, but if they do, snag them because this is a really, really easy craft that you can do with just like very little things. So for this particular tree, we're doing two trees today. This tree is, um, you need the triangle and you need um, something for the base, for the trunk of the tree. And I'm actually gonna use a branch from the tree in my yard. <laughs> So we cut down some trees. Anyway, that's what I'm gonna use. So I'm heating up my glue gun already and um, I have pre-cut out, I'm gonna take this little sticker off the back, but I have pre-cut out this um, shape to match that. And then I had to cut it down a little bit more. I just didn't think you guys would wanna watch me cut out paper. So anyway, I had to cut it down just a little bit more so that it'll fit inside here. I'm gonna hot glue it in. And this like is like minimal steps. Well, it's actually, I don't know how many steps, but it's not that many and it's not that hard. So, um, a lot of the, uh, DIYers are like, like deconstructing this and then putting it back together. But I'm like, it just seemed like a lot of work, um, to me. So take a sticker off the back. I may have to heat this up so it comes off better. And I'm going to be getting a new, um, I was wanting to get like a new thing over here. Right now it's a desk, and then we put this piece of wood on it, and it didn't really do what I wanted it to do. So like, okay, what is the desk supposed to do? I need it for storage. I need a little bit more storage right here. So I'm gonna get those cubbies from the, um, tar from the Target, from Target. I'm gonna get those cubbies from Target. I think there's like 12, um, it's just like a cubby, whole book desk type situation. And there's one that has 12 cubby holes and you can actually get the cubby hole like things. Gosh, English is hard today. You can get these like things. Let me show you. These things, <laughs> these things, you can get those for a dollar at Dollar Tree. So I thought that would be a pretty good way for me to put my, you know, frequently used or projects that I'm about to make those supplies. So they'd be just a little handier, a little handier dandier. This is taking way too long to take this off. I think I've seen some other YouTubers and you can let me know in the comments below too what you've seen, but I think they like heat it up with their heat gun and then it comes off. I just didn't really want the little thing on the back. No big reason, but now I'm like, maybe, maybe I should have just left it on the back because this is a task we're almost done. I'm just gluing this piece of craft paper. I got the scrap book paper at Hobby Lobby, four for a dollar and um, four for a dollar. I don't know, I keep feeling like I need to tell you more about it. It was four for a dollar. I'm gonna put some hot glue in here, just a little bit. Not, it's not needing to withstand any hurricane winds or anything. And then I'm gonna tuck this little piece of paper in there. Doesn't fit super exact, but that's okay because I do want it to be kind of snug. And um, yeah, so now we've got it inside. I'm not painting it. Sometimes, um, you know, you might wanna paint it or stain it, paint it the color of your choice. I'm not going to. Then I'm gonna take this little branch, piece of a branch, and I'm going to attempt to hammer. You know what? I'm gonna to try to hot glue it down. How about that? And use some wood glue. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna improvise. I was going to try to, hang on. I was gonna to try to nail it down. That's gonna like need more force than I'm wanting to exert at this time. So let's just go to plan B. I'm gonna put some wood glue on here and we're gonna put some hot glue for some immediate hold, immediate bond, I guess you could say. And I've often wondered when I see people put wood glue and hot glue, like 
I'm not a scientist, but I'm just saying like, does that cause any type of like reaction or something? Like, do I need to be concerned? I guess not, because nothing's really happening. Probably should have had like a deal. Okay, we're gonna let this dry. I'm already kind of liking it though. It's kind of simple. I might add a bow to it or something. Maybe give you a chance to comment below and tell me should I add a bow? I don't know. See, it's looking pretty cute. Very simple, very rustic. Um, maybe I'll put like a little jute bow on there. Now this is gonna be the hard part. This is probably gonna be the part that we're gonna go, <laughs> I don't know about this. Because I have seen a ton of um, other YouTubers, and I say it like we're friends, I don't know any of them really, but I watch their channels. Anyway, I've seen some of them put, um, take the back off. And I'm taking the back off, and I guess I don't really need to worry about the sticker on there because I'm taking it off. And I'm not putting it back on. But I don't know how hard it is to like push the back off, you know? They made it seem like they were just like tearing it apart. I don't understand. Am I just this weak? I don't know. I don't know how to get the back off. Here, let me, let me try to. Okay, it's moving. <gasps> well, I feel like I'm kind of ruining it, but. Okay, so that's what I'm left with. Stuff on the back. And this, if you were gonna use this, <laughs> you definitely have to do some repair work. And if you were gonna use this, I don't throw this away because you could use this for something else. Like I can make another tree out of this and I just might, but not today. So I'm gonna set that to the side. Then I'm gonna take all of this extra paper off and try to get all of that off as much as possible. And then I'm gonna sand it because I don't want it to have the paper on it. Am I gonna paint it? I don't know. I don't know if I should. I kind of like the natural wood color, to be honest. I live by a fire department, so if you hear the fire department going on a call, don't be alarmed. It's not my house. The question is, should I paint this? Because I thought to paint it white, I know you don't know what I'm going to do to it, but I thought to paint it white, or at least the outside, you know, of it, the edge of it white. Let's put this stuff away. Let's close this and put that away. Get out the little ladybug vacuum crafting vacuum thing and vacuum up all this stuff all this mess that i created um i think this is so cute i bought it literally just because it's cute i think i'm gonna leave it just a natural wood see this is looking cute i like it i think i do want to put like a little bow with maybe like a little jingle bell hanging down from it i've got bigger jingle bells anyways um oh that's kind of leaning though well, you know, gotta lean with it, rock with it. No? Okay. When this turns out, I'm gonna be like, oh my gosh, this turned out so cute. Okay, this little thing fell off. Great. Just feel like I'm going crazy trying to figure out how to do this and how many I'm gonna have to try to tie on. I may just fast forward through this part, so who knows? It's coming along, y'all. It is coming along. I've got two on and probably like five more to go. If you have the right kind of jingle bells, I think it's fine. Does it basically? Okay guys, <laughs> the camera shut off. It got bored too, watching me try to figure out how to do this. So what I've done while you were gone was string these one, two, three, four, five, six jingle bells onto here. I got the jingle bells from the Dollar Tree. Um, I'm gonna take my hot glue now and do I need any more? No. So I'm gonna start at the top and I'm basically gonna go in a zigzag motion. And then that's it. And I'm um, actually not even, not even sure if I'm gonna put a base on this one or not, or, or like a little, um, I guess I could put like little, couple little blocks, but I think I'm just gonna leave it just like this. So um, there's lots of things you can do with these triangles. You can make these triangles out of paint sticks. And Captain's joining us. Um, you can make these triangles, oh, brother, stop. You can make the triangles out of paint sticks or just like little leftover trim or something like that. And then you can paint them, you can leave them, you can stain them, you can leave them just the natural wood color. You can do all sorts of things. I've seen people just put bows at the top, just a single bell hanging down. It just, you know, it looks cute. So I decided to, I saw a picture of somebody that strung little bells like this. And clearly not the way I'm doing it, but yeah. So I'm just gonna put a little dab of hot glue here. And then I'm gonna put the bell, start the bell off where I want it. And I have my little handy dandy 
where I can press down a little bit better. And then I'm just gonna glue on each side, and like I said, go in that diagonals, is that diagonal? Yeah, diagonal motion. <laughs> and see how this works out. Hi, Captain. I was wondering when you were gonna notice that mom had bells. And if it doesn't fit quite right, I can always just cut the string a little bit. But I think we're gonna be okay. And that's it, just gluing all the way down, kind of positioning the bells to be where I want them to be. I didn't want them to be totally lined up like with one another. I kind of wanted them zigzaggy. There, and that's my tree, that's how it turned out. So, I think that's pretty cute. The only other thing is, not the only other thing, I think I want to add a little bow to it maybe. I'm not sure. I kind of want to look at it just and leave it just like this for a bit. But here are the two little trees I made today. Didn't take too long at all until after I figured out what I wanted to do with this one. <laughs> it didn't take too long at all. But I think I might want to put one of those X bows where you just like lay the ribbon in an X and then put something in the middle and then kind of glue it up here just to give it a little extra oomph or maybe glue like a wooden star or something, um, or a bow with yellow ribbon or something. I'm not sure, I think it needs a little something else. So leave me a comment below and tell me what you think it needs on the top. Does it need a bow? Does it need just like some jute, like a jute bow or something? Kind of go with that rustic log cabin -y, in the woods kind of feeling. And then this one, I actually kind of like it just like it is, but whoops. Uh, I'm not sure. I feel like I do need to add, I don't know. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think too. Do I need to add anything else to this? Do I need to just like, stop Lisa. Don't add anything else, it's fine. Thank you guys so much for joining me today as I crafted these two trees. I hope these inspired you in some way to maybe create something for yourself. I actually decorate my home with Christmas trees or tree shapes and snowmen, but I tend to like not just any kind of tree, because I don't really like the blingy glitter. I'm not really into glitter too much, but um, I'm more like the rustic, simplified, um, primitive type things. And I also decorate, I mean, I decorate with the tree shapes and with the snowmen. So um, did I already say that? I don't know, but I'm saying it again. Anyway, that's what I decorate with. So um, I feel like it can carry you through the season and you don't have to necessarily take it down right away, right after Christmas, or feel like you do. I know some people will just leave Christmas up all year long. I'm not really one of those people. I kind of like my home a little bit quieter feeling, like with the decor, but anyway, I digress. If you want to follow me on Instagram or here on YouTube, it's Our Gray House, but just don't follow me in real life though because that's creepy. Bye.